The next question is the word ordering question. Here, students can order words in a sentence, but they can also order sentences in a text. Let's configure this question. First, I'm going to show you how they can order words. It is different configuration than when they order sentences, but it's just one small step that makes a difference. I'm going to add my question here, order the words and put together the sentence. And here I'm going to add the words they have to order to complete the sentence. This is the sentence I want them to complete. Elephants live in herds consisting of more than 20 females. So here I'm going to add words one by one on each line, so in the right order. So elephants live in herds. You can even make a separate word out of the comma. Like this. So you have to configure it in the right way so book widgets knows that when students order the words in the sentence, this is the correct answer. When you scroll down, you can also add alternative answers. So in this case, maybe um, a sentence can also be ordered in a different way. So they can build a sentence um, using different places uh, of the words. You can add the alternatives right here if you want. In this case, this is the only correct answer. Here, word or sentence ordering, you have to choose if students have to order words or sentences. In this case, I'm configuring the words. Later on, you can choose here the sentence and then you will see that it has a different ordering, a different configuration. You can add an explanation, a hint audio image, and of course there are the scoring options which are also important. Here you, students can score points when all elements are in the correct order, or they can score points for each element in the correct position. So this changes um, whether the students have to know everything or just all the elements, and if they have one thing wrong, it shouldn't take that much point. When you choose score points when all elements are in the correct order, they will just score one point for this particular sentence. In this case, this is fine by me and they will get two points when they have this question right. I go back and I click on preview to see how this looks like for my students. So book widgets will always randomize everything for your students. You have to put in right so it knows what the right answer is and so it can be automatically graded. The first time your students are answering this question, you should tell them that it's intended to grab uh, the words and drag them in front of each other, between each other, so they can make the right sentence. Here I configured it to show the answers immediately, so you can see how it's automatically graded. When you enable the automatic grading option right away for your students, of course, you can ask your students to submit it, then you can uh, send back the grades, the correction, with the feedback later on. I click on show answers. In this case, I have a zero out of two because I'm not, I didn't, I wasn't able to configure the question the right way. I have a mistake right here of more than 20 females. So these two should be um, switched. And I chose the option to just give a zero if just one thing isn't in the right place. Students get the correction right away so they can see what the right answer is. If I change the scoring options here to score points for each element in the correct position, then I go to preview again, then you can see that it changes. So here it's, up, it's graded otherwise and you can see that I just got 20 um, 24 because I just got these two wrong. You can also add another question using the sentence ordering option. So I just go back and I'm going to add another question. Of course, it's the same question type, 
word order in question. And here I'm asking my students to order a complete text or put things in a chronological order. So this is my question. Put the parts in chronological order. What happened first in the video? Drag and drop the parts. I'm going to add the words, but in this case, it are sentences. For each sentence or piece of text they have to order, I'm adding it to a different line. And then here, they ch you have to choose sentences. And then, of course, the scoring options are important as well. Again, here you can choose the score points when all elements are in the correct order. In this case, I'm choosing score points for each element in the correct position. Then I go to preview to take a look at how this looks. So this is the word ordering question and this is the sentence ordering question. So you can see that this is outlined horizontally and this is outlined vertically. So here students have to um, just drag and drop everything in the right order. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. Let's see. And I click on show answers. Yes. And then again here um, I see that I have everything wrong and you can see the answer as well as a student below this.